how to connect a custom domain to Odo. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can connect a custom domain to Odo. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here onto Odo.com and we're going to go ahead and sign up. Now, the sign-up process is actually very simple. You can see right here, it's free, but there is a pricing plan. We can start for free. They're going to give you a 14-day free trial, and after that, you should be good to go. So let's get into it. So we're going to click on start now. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log into it. So first things first, what we're going to do is when you log in, you're going to select which one of these, you know, options you want. So you can see Auto has a variety of tools and applications to choose from. It's like a one-stop shop for everything. So you've got accounting, rentals, websites, social marketing, projects, documents, everything, right? So we want a website. So we're going to go ahead and create a website. Click on website. Now we're going to go ahead and click on start now you can go ahead and get started for free over here you can see set your business add some logos and then choose what you want to do right so let's go ahead and click on start now and then over here you're going to enter in your website details so first name last name email address website name phone number country and once you have filled everything just select start now so i'm going to skip this step and here we go so you can see right here it's ready we're going to click on let's do it and i want a business website and my business is going to be clothing store business and the main objective is going to be sell more and then you can drop your logo here so this is the logo right here let me actually upload the black one there we go and now we can go ahead and click on let's go it already selected the black and gray accent so we're gonna leave it that click on go and now they're going to ask us what type of features and pages you want to add. So we want the shop page and the features. And other than that, I don't think we need anything else. If you want to add them, you can go ahead and select whichever one you want and then click on build my website. So now it's going to give you a couple of stores, you know, a couple of themes to get started with. You've got this one, this one, and this one. So you can hover your mouse over them and, you know, see which one you like. You can click on view more to view more themes. Totally depends on you. So let's go ahead and click on view more and see what else do we get. So we get a couple of more. So we got this one, this one. It all depends on you, which one you like. But yeah, select the one that you like and we can move on. So I'm going to select the, the middle one actually. And then it's going to go ahead and apply the colors and the designs and get everything ready for us. So wait for a couple of seconds and we should be good to go. And here we go. So this is the website. This is how it looks like. Now, in order for you to go ahead and connect your, you know, domain you're going to need to go ahead and first verify this option right here verify your website so click over here click on resend you know they've sent you a confirmation email check your email verify your account and once you've done that they're gonna ask you once you've you know clicked on the email clicked on the button uh, verification button that they sent you they're gonna ask you these questions so you can send invites so i'm gonna skip this all done and you can go to your dashboard which is right here so this is going to be your website so here you can go ahead and edit the website however you like it you're going to have your contact information over here this is going to be your logo home shop button shop page is going to be over here and you can add pricings and other stuff to it so we're going to click over here and here is the website option we're going to click over here and then over here at the top you're going to see you have e-commerce reporting and configurations right in configurations you're going to see you have your domain name click on domain name and here our team will review your request to prevent any, you know, potential abuse to be eligible for a free domain name. Please make sure that your website has the following. Clear conscious homepage. It's done that. It's done that. Everything. So, right. So, my website is ready. I'm going to click on the ready button. And then it's going to take me over here where you can see all of the domains that we have. So, we've got all these different domains. This is the one that we, you know, currently have. So, over here, you can connect any domain you want. If you want, you can create a new domain by clicking on create button. And click over the website click on continue we've already done that actually so we don't actually need that we'll click on domain name yeah my website is ready these are going to be our domain right here it's going to ask you domain name of racks you can use your own domain or get a new domain by clicking on this button and then just simply search for it you can see right here racks club racks.me raps.business select whichever one you want i think this wouldn't look good so we're going to select that so this is for you actually getting a domain right so this is let's say an individual and you fill out this entire form and then you register yourself and after that you know you should be good to go after that they're going to evaluate you and it might take up to three days right but let's say you have your own domain right this is the website that we created we want to connect it to this website so what you'll do is click on this button right click on domain names and over here you use my own domain 
click on use my own domain and here you're going to add your own domain name all right so since we already have one over here on godaddy.com just as an example i'm going to use that so we're going to go into my products and you're going to find the domain over here you might need to do a little bit of configuration but that's fine so here we go this is the domain name we're going to click over here we're going to come back onto our website add that domain over here regarding the ssl or https auto generates a certification automatically using its intelligence so don't worry about that create a cname record www.domain pointing to racks domain so let's go ahead and do that right so over here we're going to click on manage right here underneath dns click on manage domain here you can go into the uh, dns records as well so go into let's go back open up the domain and here you will see on the left hand side you've got domain option click on the domain option you will see right here wait for a couple of seconds called manage dns so we're going to click on manage dns and in it wait for a couple of seconds you can even select dns over here on the left hand side as well so it's loading up it's loading our dns settings and here you can see there are no dns records so let's go ahead and add a new dns record so here type the c name and over here you're going to add in the value which is right here called www.yourdomain.com pointing to racksdomain.com so we're going to add that this is over here all right and we are going to add our own over here and click on save now usually it works right make sure the ttl is half an hour currently this should be at and over here you can add the value as well right this is like forwarding your domain name to here so keep that in mind cname at racks.odo.com and then save that way you can add a dns record and then you can just simply click on verify and once it's verified we should be good to go so give it a couple of seconds right now it's there's some sort of error happening so you know difficulty zone file so i don't know but yeah you can easily go ahead and add a dns record like this one and then you can connect a custom domain to your auto profile or auto website now another thing that i do have to mention is you do require a paid plan because you know auto requires it so here you can see one app free so you can have one app for free all right but the website is going to be available only for the paid plan so keep that in mind so you gotta go ahead and buy one of these plans right here so keep that in mind so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it. So having said that, Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.